What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a very special episode of Up The Humbugs. In today's episode we've got not one but two cup competitions. Um, we've got the FA Cup second qualifying round uh, against Spennymore Town followed by a visit to Tring Athletic in the FA Vars. Now of course last year we won the FA Vars so we will begin our defence of that particular trophy. Uh, meanwhile the FA Cup it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, Spending more town currently in the Vanarama South, I want to say. Um, I just wanted to check how we got on last year because... Oh, how do I check? This one? Yeah, I just wanted to check how well we did last year. Um, I've got a feeling we got to the first qualifying round. Did we? Oh god, is there a better way of knowing this? Uh, club, info, history... Eh. God damn it! Um, bear with me. Alright, so I found it, I found it. I just had to go on my schedule and go to last season. Don't know why I didn't think of that. So we've already made it past, or made it further, than we did last season. Of course, last season we went out to Sholing in terrific style. We drew 2-2. Two -two. In the uh, in the first fixture, and then the reverse tie, we ended up losing three two. We've gone one step further. Can we go even further today? <laughs> it's going to be tough. Saying that, they are twentieth in the Vanarama National League North. I said South at night. North. Mm. Glenn Taylor might be one to watch. Current top goal scorer in the division. Hmm. It's going to be tricky. Um, to be fair, I I wanted to do a quick recap in this episode. I feel like I've just sort of come back into it really, really, really quickly, and uh, just wanted to take the time just to sort of recap where we are, what our aims are, uh, and and keep it brief at the same time. Uh, in short, we are unbeaten in all competitions this season. We've had a terrific start um, a, a across the board. Maybe one or two draws that we shouldn't have had in the league, but. We're playing well. We're playing good football. Um, we are second. We're on 20 points. We're level with Fenford. We've got a three-point gap between us and Holbridge in third place. Um, the game, was it Benfleet we beat in the last episode or or whenever it was? I don't know if it was in the last episode or off camera. I think it was off camera. I can't remember, to be honest. But we did beat Benfleet 1-0, and that was a big, big game. Um, but yeah, we're doing extremely well. Uh, Leroy Joseph is having a hell of a season. He's currently top in terms of the average rating. Assists, he's top as well. Um, and I've just seen Jack Cherry has got the joint most clean sheets. Three. I imagine there's quite a few people on that as well. But, of course, we are here for one reason and one reason only uh, in today's episode. And that's the FA Cup game. Um, I think if we win this, I, I can't remember how many qualifying rounds there is. I want to say there's one more before we're into the first round proper. There might be more. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. But this is the line I'm going into today's game. A slight change. We've got Williams back in up top. Uh, Gilbert drops into the number 10 position. Uh, Melligan maintains his position on the right. Olicoli on the left. Not Simon Parson are the duo in the middle. The back line of Rowe, Knight, Reynolds, Moore and Jack Cherry keeps his place in goal. He's hit a, a bit of a purple patch, Jack Cherry. Um, a bit touch and go last season. Yeah, a little bit of touch and go last season, but he's he's stepped up recently, certainly in the league and across the cup competitions. Um, hopefully he keeps it up. Well, we come into this game arguably in the better... Well, not arguably, definitely in the better form. They've got one win in the last five games. Meanwhile, we have four wins in our last five games. Could this be closer? Uh, this will really sort of tell us or give us an indication as to where we are. Of course, we want to get promoted. And I don't know if we go straight into like this league or, or the South equivalent. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But we're not far off. We're either one or two steps below this. So this could give us a real indication as to how we will potentially get on should we get promoted um, this season. It's been a very quiet game so far. No highlights to really discuss. But uh, we're on the ball now. Simon Parson picks up in the middle. Plays a one to him not. Finds more on the right-hand side. 
Moore heads towards the byline, pulls one back for Gilbert. Kane Gilbert's there, and it's one. And the linesman's flag has remained down. I thought it might have been offside, but the linesman's flag has remained firmly by his side, and we have taken the lead against all odds. Spending more uh, heavy favourites, and we are, well, we're showing just why we are in contention for the league title this season. Go on, the boys. Is it too much to say that we're dominating at the moment? Spending more have not even had a shot, let alone a shot on target. Um, they've just picked up an injury as well. Their goalkeeper's gone off injured. Oh dear. I mean, I'm not oh dear. It's great for us, but oh dear. We're heading towards half time very quickly. We are in cruise control. Maybe not cruise control. We're in firm control. I will say that. We've been fantastic. Very good first half performance. Keep up the good work. I'd love a second goal. I would love a second goal just to give us that cushion. Spennymore started the second half quite well, to be fair. Uh, ball in. Oh, it's a header over the top of the bar. Uh, yeah, Spennymore, they started off the second half quite well. They're looking a lot brighter than they were in the first half. I've changed an instruction, and I've kind of asked us to float crosses in. I might get us to whip crosses in and just test this keeper out a little bit. He's, he's off the bench. I don't know if it sort of makes sense in Football Manager to do that. In real life, it's what I'd instruct. I don't know. We'll give it a go. Just seen Moore is absolutely exhausted. He wasn't fully fit to start this game, but he's in such good form. I had to. Uh, I'm going to bring on Horton. And I'm going to bring on... I'm going to bring on Chadwick as well for Simon Parson. Just to be... Just to have someone in there. Not not better. Sorry, if you're watching. Um... <laughs> Not, not better. Uh, he's not had the best. Look, Simon Parsons not had the best game. Um, Chadwick has had a good season overall. Hopefully, he can uh, get us over the line. 15 minutes left, and we have a throw in down near the Spennymore goal. It's a lovely little one to Okoloku. Okoloku? What's his name? <laughs> Olakolu. Okoloku. Olakolu was at the back post. Gets his head to it. Um, but it is in no danger as the ball comes in again. and Fair play to the keeper. He's obviously warmed up well before coming on. Uh, a couple more changes, I think, are necessary. I'm going to bring on Dutton for not. I'm going to get him playing. He can stay on support. I might get Chadwick in a more defensive role. Um, and we'll get Fisher on the left-hand side. We'll drop him into a supportive role. I've got one more sub to make. Do we shut up shot? Do I take off Williams and bring on Duncan? Go five at the back. Yeah, I could do it. I could do it. Do you know what? I'm going to bring off um, Williams. I'll bring on Long. And just play Gilbert up top. Long in behind. Uh, Gilbert as a pressing forward. It's fine. Long in behind. As uh, attacking midfielder works for me. Can we hold on? Ten minutes left to play. We've got ourselves a corner over the other side this time. Gilbert to take. He whips it in towards the middle. It's cleared away. Long retrieves it. It's a great touch. Oh, it's an even better second touch. And Elliot Long has put it in the back of the net as OBS lags a little bit. <laughs> what a goal that is. A lovely touch to bring the ball down. And he sort of swivels as he brings it down. Oh, what a shot. And you have to say that that should be that. We're going to go time-wasting frequently. We're going to slow the tempo down. We're going to keep the ball, be more disciplined. Can we hold on to this? Less than 10 minutes to go. We're already... Oh, my God, we've got enough corner. Surely not three. Gilbert whips it in. Oh! oh! Liam Chadwick scored! <laughs> oh my god. It's a mistake from the keeper. And Chadwick pounces. I think the keeper's dropped it. He comes out. He sort of flaps at it. And Chadwick just puts his foot through it. Into the top of the net. And we are through to the next round of the FA Cup. We're already further than we've ever been before. And we're continuing this amazing cup run. Three minutes of added time to go with 3-0 up. This has been...
probably one of the best performances we've had yet in this series. Full time, 3 0. I tell you what, if that doesn't deserve a like and a sub, I don't know what does. That is our best result as Halstead Town Manager. We're only two seasons in. Unreal. Do, do you think? Go and hit that like button. I'm just looking here. There is actually a third and a fourth qualifying round. And then we enter the first round proper. And that's when we can start getting, I, I mean, not massive teams, but decent teams. We're talking Vanarama Premier, what is it? Vanarama National League, whatever it is. We can get those kinds of teams. Oh, wait, no, we can get, no, we can get higher than that. First round. Oh, we can get League 1, League 2 teams and Championship teams in the first round. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got the third round, uh, the third qualifying round draw coming up. Let's see who we get. I, I, I feel like the draw's been very kind to us. We've been drawn against Marine. Now, Marine are fifth in the Northern Premier League division. It's, a very, it's pretty much the same level as us. And we've been drawn against them. It's definitely... It's, Definitely should be an easier fixture than Spennymore on paper. However, they are in a lot better form than Spennymore. I tell you what, we've got a shot. If we make the FA Cup first round, I, I don't know what I'll do. Right then, game time for game number two. And it's the FA Vars against Tring Athletic. Away from home, we've made a few changes. I don't think this team's as good as I initially thought. So we're actually going to throw in a couple of names. You might have not seen for a while. We've got Kokolakis, the legend, starting the right back. Uh, we've got Lewis Busby returning to central defence as well. He was a little bit unhappy about his game time. Uh, we're just going to try and... I just want to keep the mood high in camp. So we're going to give him a, a, a little bit of a run out in this game. Um, and see how he gets on. Uh, we've got Simon Parson in the middle. I might actually put Chadwick there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Chadwick's going to play there. We'll play him as a central midfielder on support uh we've got dennis back in the number 10 role williams up top we've got Melligan on the right hand side olakolu on the left hand side i think that's it gilbert on the bench fish on the bench simon parson on the bench do i want fish on the bench i'm actually going to put elliot long on the bench but he had a really good game last time out a really good game I'm Oh, long off Dennis. We'll go, we'll go long. We'll go long. We'll start long and we can bring Dennis on part way through. I was expecting nothing more or nothing less than a win in this game, to be completely honest. Uh, it would be lovely to... I, I'm not expecting to retain the FA Vars because it's a tough competition to win at this level, but we can, uh, we can definitely give it our best. Oh, God. Look at Tring's form. They're well in form. <laughs> Oh, but so are we. Five wins on the bounce. Come on. I actually got an achievement just now for going five games without conceding a goal, I think. Park the bus, maybe. Uh, not that we play like that. We've just been playing very, very well. Uh, this is the FA Vars second qualifying round. There's 91 people here, and it's Tring with the first shot on target. First highlight of the half. Long with the corner for Halstead. He whips it in towards the front post, cleared away by Muller. Rowe heads it to Olakolu. Back to... Billy Knott, who scores his third goal of the season. And seven minutes in, we've taken the lead. Our, our set pieces are dangerous. We do get a lot of goals from corners, whether it's directly from a corner or it, you know, it sort of is the catalyst for the move that follows the corner. Um, either way, set pieces have been an absolute joy to watch so far this season. Just a short reminder that these videos, I'm going to aim to try and get a house dead episode out every single day. Uh, we were on a streak before I had to take uh, uh, quite a sudden break. I am going to be trying to record as much as I can over the next week and a half. I've got a bit of time off work. It's not whips in the corner. Is it going to result in a goal? Almost. Um, yeah, we're going to try and record as much as we can. Make sure that we've got daily humbug episodes for you guys. Um, I'm really enjoying playing it and, uh, and recording it and creating this content. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. I'm going to be doing other content as well over the next few days. I've got some Warzone lined up. Uh, I've got some MW3 that I want to get into. I want to get back into Apex a little bit and try and grind that. 
And we're also going to be starting a Far Cry 6 Let's Play. So a lot to look forward to, just like this goal. Oh, boys, thank you for that. Thank you very much. Olakolu on command scores 27 minutes in it's 2-0 i think this game is going to be a little a little bit easy half time 2-0 up 71% possession <laughs> um yeah it's fair to say we're dominating they've had a couple of shots on target but nothing uh to really worry jack cherry in goal uh, and to say i'm happy with how we've dominated possession so far <sighs> it's looking like a pretty straightforward win and uh and unfortunately, we've been able to rotate as well. So these boys are getting some good game time under their belts. They'll hopefully be a, feel a little bit more happy um, being at the club. Some of them just have to accept that that is their role now. Um, it's always scary to click that option, though, when you're having that sort of player meeting with them because you don't want to piss them off. And uh, it's very easy to do that on this game. It's Williams. I mean, he's played the ball forwards there. There's no way this works. I don't know what Williams is doing. Uh, the highlight continues. Chadwick to Busby. Busby to Rowe. Oh, it is nice having Buzz some familiar names in the lineup again. Reminds us of last season. Busby, Kokolakis, Menegan, absolute legends. Olakolu whips one in. Long's there. It's cleared away. Chadwick retrieves it. Goes out wide for Kokolakis. First time pass to Melligan. Melligan to Long. Long has a shot. That should not be going in. Elliot Long. Um, we made the right decision to start him, but that should never be going in. That is very poor goalkeeping. Let's have a look at this again. Melligan. Little reverse pass to Long. Oh, oh. oh dear. That goalkeeper's having a mare. Got a corner. Long. You know what this means. In it goes. Oh, the keeper's actually caught this one. Um, Arjun Jansen. Not somebody I think we'll be seeing much of in the future as he uh, distributes this. Plays it upfield. He's just lost possession for his team. Long now. Carries it forwards. Finds the ball to Melligan, who's unable to get on the end of that. And uh, Trin clear their lines. Only just does not picks up the ball again. Olakolu already got one goal and very nearly gets another. It's a good effort. I just got a free kick for, uh, for Trin here. And it's gone straight to Cherry. Let's see what Cherry can do with this. See our player scampering forwards. I think he's going to go long. He does. It's a, it's a good pass towards long. Chadwick eventually picks it back up and Williams has been dispossessed. And now Tring have the ball in the centre of the park. King. Tries to go round his man. He finds the ball to Berridge. Dovey to King. Again. This, this lad King's all over the place. Gordon to King. King for Tring. They're keeping the ball well. They're looking for a way in behind, which they've found now. It's King squares it for Newton. He wasn't offside because it was, the ball was played backwards. And uh, eventually, Cherry finds a ball in his hands. We have ourselves a corner. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. False alarm. Tring have a free kick. Oh, Cherry's done well to sort of bat that away. He kind of just, like, slapped it. <laughs> Didn't want any, anything to do with that. As the ball goes right across the box, Gordon picks it up towards Beveridge. And uh, eventually it's cleared away by Rowe. I think that is. Busby as well was involved in that. So let's not, let's not forget Busby. He's had a good game, to be fair. 6.9 rating. Can't complain with that. Tring on the ball again. They're being a little bit more aggressive now. So they're looking for a way back into this game. And uh, a goal here might make it a little bit interesting as we head towards the final sort of third of the game. Newton. Oh, I hit the post. King, Green. Let's make some subs. <laughs> um, a little bit scary, that. Uh, we're going to bring off Long. We're going to bring on Simon Parson. He can drop back and, and play in a three uh, on defence. We're going to bring on Moore at right back. We're going to Reynolds for Busby. He's had a good game um, to not feel bad about coming off. I just want a, someone with a little bit more. Uh, experience and skill on the ball just to see out this game I'm not worried in the slightest but Tring have uh, they've had a good second half maybe if they've played this way since the beginning they might actually be in this still now row with a throat 
Oh, that rhymes. Uh, Simon, Simon Parson picks up the ball, plays it to Chadwick. Chadwick. Oh, has it hit the crossbar? Don't know if the keeper saved it or if he hit the crossbar. I think it hit the. I think it hit the bar, but it's just cannoned off. It's a great effort from Chadwick, to be fair. Two minutes of stoppage time and it's, it's game over, pretty much. Uh, last second corner for Tring. Will they find a goal? They do. It's Ken Gordon, but it's nothing more than the consolation. That's his first ever Tring goal. Bless him. He's run off celebrating like Hoogeland. But it is full time and we begin our defence of the FA Vars in fine style. Winning 3-1 away from home. 21 shots, 7 on target. And... Uh, we, we pretty much bossed the game. Let's get into the draw. Erlam. Not a clue where they are from. Uh, well, obviously Erlam. Uh, I don't know where that is, but that's who we've got in the next round of the FA Vars. The first round proper, I might add. They're in the Northwest Counties League Premier Division. I think that's lower than us. I, I think. I, I want to say that's a step down. But I could be wrong. No, actually, it's on the same level. It's the same level. Right then, that brings us to the end of this episode and we look ahead to the next episode and uh, I, I know we want to try and get these updates a little bit more fluid and, and uh, you want me to play more games off camera but I cannot not record the game against Marine in the FA Cup third qualifying round. Of course, a win there and we are w one more round away from entering the first round proper of the FA Cup which is huge for a team of Halstead's level and... Uh, yeah, I think it's a special one. So next episode will be Marine in the FA Cup and Clacton at home in the league. And then we'll probably do, probably the end of the month, we'll do Woodford and Frenford in the league uh, towards the end of October. I won't bother with the Earlham game in the FA Vars. I think we'll probably win that. Um, and the same goes for future competitions such as these. Unless we get through to like the semis of these competitions, I, I don't see any point in showing them. Of course, if you want to see them, let me know in the comments below. Um, and again, as always, if you, you know, if you want to see more matches, let me know. I don't mind. If you want to see me play less matches and get, you know, maybe I pick like one or two matches per month rather than including the cup games and so on and so forth. I'm open to any ideas and suggestions. This is your series as much as mine, and I hope you're enjoying it. We are smashing the FA Cup. Leave a like if you agree and you're enjoying that. Please subscribe. It helps me massively as well. And uh, have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode.